Hi, this is Kristen Smith at Synergistic Horsemanship, and uh, this is my dear model here, Silver. And uh, we're going to be doing a talk today on how to connect with your horse. And before I get into it, I just wanted to remind you guys to please subscribe to our channel so we can keep making more of these fun videos for you guys and educational ones. We, uh, it just really helps us out. So we thought I'd get back to our subject here. Um, I chose Silver today because he is actually an earth element horse which means he already wants to bond deeply and have deep connections. So he's a pretty good one for us to show you how you connect with your horse. Um, when I walk up to a horse like him that's extremely sensitive to how I feel and deep rooted into the ground and any other horse really, I really check my breathing. Am I breathing in through my nose? deeply filling up both diaphragms and connecting all the way down through my spine, through my feet and into the ground. It's really important that I connect with the earth before I come up to my horse so that I am centered and in a good, positive, relaxed light. I want you to watch the difference between that and this, if I walk up to him right now, like this, he's not gonna get too affected because he is an earth horse. Because he already is connected, he's got good bonds with the ground, but he still turned his head away from me, right? And you notice he's not cuddling with me the way he was previous. Not that I want all my horses to cuddle because some horses will take it too far. But I'm going to change the way. Now he's going to try to cuddle with Cindy because I'm uncuddleable. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. Okay. So I just walked up to him abruptly. You guys saw that he wouldn't cuddle with me. Right now he's kind of looking at me like, can I come? Can I not come? Right? What is my, what is my status going to be? This time I'm going to work on lowering my energy. Breathing in through my nose out through my mouth. You can already see him releasing the moment I took my energy down, right? He kind of knows the place that I'm going to go into. He's going to start to fall asleep and relax. And with each step I take towards him, I'm going to keep my breath calm and quiet and inviting. And there's the difference, right? So for him, that, that head shaking, that's a little bit of a, that's a release for him, right? He always does that, he always does that right before he licks and chews. He's gonna eat my cords. <laughs> Cause he likes to put everything in his mouth. This is a very oral horse. I just know that about him. That's not him being naughty. That's just him processing. Yeah, and he'll get his nose all the way down to the ground. And I breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth and just let him relax with me. In through my nose and out through my mouth. Now some horses really struggle with you putting your hand right here, right? It's a really vulnerable spot. And for him, you saw he's licking and chewing. He's backing away from it but I'm gonna stay centered. I'm gonna stay centered in my breathing and I literally feel tingling through the bottom of my feet, connecting. And right now is a really high energy time because we're feeding. To breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth. And connect with his soul, literally. And just say stay here in through my nose and out through my mouth getting him to trust that when I touch him here that I'm in a really nice stable place mentally as well as physically and you're gonna see him close slowly slowly relaxing not caring that uh, in, um, Alex just came to feed 
and his eyes are going to get more and more gentle as I stay with him. Good boy. And that's him going, I don't know if I should be having dinner. And sometimes they'll get uncomfortable with you being this on top of them, right? Because remember, they can't see you right here. This is a very vulnerable place for a horse. Extremely vulnerable, but I just stay with it and I just say, you're okay. A lot of times, you guys will see me approach a horse and you're on the people that uh, take lessons with me. You know, and I'll come up, touch here, but then I also check in right here. I'll put my hand right here. There's a lot of biorhythms that come through this part of the body. And you can get a lot of really nice releases. Now, if, if a horse trusts you the way he trusts me, I'll feel that there's no bubble around the outside of it. When a horse is really guarded, you'll actually feel an energy bubble. And you can't touch there. You have to kind of wait for the energy bubble to push, push you out and allow you in. Okay, okay. So here on this horse, as I'm coming in, I don't feel that. I feel total relaxation. So I put one hand here and one end up here because there's a lot of meridians that go through here. This is the, yeah, heart chakra, right? And so we're talking about connecting to our horse's heart and their soul. So I sit here, there you go, and I breathe really deep. And I can actually feel him inviting me inside. I'm just going to walk with him. That's just him trying to get comfortable, him trying to figure out where I need to be. But at no point am I going to raise my energy. Because I understand he's inviting me into his space. Right? He has to be vulnerable to be in this position with me. And as you guys know, having his head that low is a very vulnerable space for him to be in. And you can see the licking and chewing and closing of his eyes. Now I'm going to go back to not talking so you guys can see the release. So there's even people talking in the barn right now. And as you can tell, he's not really choosing to leave me. He'll take a couple steps forward, which is pretty impressive, right? Because he knows it's dinner time and his food's inside. But it feels so good for him to have this deep level of trust and to allow me inside. There we go. Good boy. And this is just him obviously being kind and grooming me back and thanking me. So you'll see me do that a lot on horses okay, that um, are guarded. But I won't get that far in one session to work with them. As you can tell, this guy is very curious and loving. And, and he knows I've let him go, right? Our connection has been released. And he's free to go wherever he wants to go. And not that he wasn't before. 
but I've severed that connection when I took my own energy away from his and allowed him to go in and eat, right? Because we were done with that session. I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. I felt that connection between my heart and his heart and his biorhythm and my biorhythm. And like I said, a lot of times you're going to start out, you can't even touch them. You're going to be lucky to get your hand here between their face. You're going to be lucky to get your hand out here. You have to be invited. I had a um, really great instructor tell me years ago, don't take that which will be given to you. And what they mean by that is don't force it. Take the time. Your horse will invite you in. It will happen. But through these tools and techniques and other stuff that Cindy and I are going to talk about, you know, in other lectures that we're going to be giving and webinars, we've talked about doing some webinars and through our live question and answer, we are going to help you get this type of connection with this horse, with horses. This guy is not the type of horse that most people would think would do this. He is a young warm blood who's been laid up. He would have every reason to be bonkers mentally, but he's not because he trusts and he feels and he's grounded and I'm grounded every time I'm around him. And that is really hard for me because I am fire and water all the way, baby. So, so, so my energy gets way up here and it loves to be here. And so I have to physically, every time I'm around this horse, bring myself down to his place because I love his stability and I want to keep it that way. So if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below and remember to sign up for our channel so we can help you guys with some more fun stuff. So uh, yep, yeah. I'll talk to you later. Bye.